Hey everyone, so I wanted to do this quick video um, to show you uh, Manny Chat's analytics. Um, it's in beta right now, so that's why I'm just doing this video to give you guys a heads up of what um, is coming. Um, I just started using this um, within the last week or so. Uh, so as I get more, um, more data myself, and um, start using it more and finding out what works best, then I will, and then also when it's released to everybody, um, then I will make sure I put a video in the course about it. But I just wanna give you guys this quick overview. So when you get this, you'll see here in the dashboard area, right here is analytics. So what this does is you can actually create what's called conversion events. So let me show you that first before I go into the analytics itself. So if you go to settings, and then you go down here to conversion events, then you can create conversion events. And this is these are events that you can then place inside of your ManyChat flow that you can um, track as things that are happening. So these are custom conversion events. So it's kind of like Facebook ads where you can create a custom conversion. Um, and so, but this is all within Messenger. So in this example for this restaurant, I have birthday meal redeemed and opted in for birthday meal. So just kind of having uh, the stats for that. Um, and then the cool thing is you can actually create a dollar amount. So like this birthday meal redeemed, let me show you, you can, when you create one, it can generate revenue. And so you can put in there how much uh, revenue it generated. Um, so that's a really awesome thing to be able to show that ROI. And then just opting in for birthday meal conversion event, that's just showing that somebody actually opted into Messenger for this specific um, flow. So you can create any type of conversion event that you want um, that's specific for your um, for your um, client and for your bot, whatever. Okay, so that's where you create the conversion event. So then when you go to analytics here, you can see here uh, overall earnings. So this is based off the, off the conversion event um, that is making money. So in the flow itself, um, when you, I'll show you how to create the conversion event or add it on there, uh, you can put in how much that it's made. Now, right now it's only um, a set amount, but they are releasing hopefully in the next week where you can actually create the amount through a custom field. So an example of that, and I'll actually show it to you, is when you ask them for like, for example, for a restaurant, what their total uh, meal ticket was. And then you can put that in as the conversion event amount. So you can see here, um, I have it just set to $15, which come to find out with actually asking people in this bot what they have spent, um, it's on average about $20, which is great. So this is actually an under, um, I guess a very conservative amount. So you can see here, um, just for the January 25th, a few days ago, um, made 60 bucks. And that's just assuming that's $15. And then same here with 15, 15. So that is a conversion event inside of Messenger. And then you can also see conversion events down here of email collected. So you can see, wow, on this day collected 16 emails, you know, 11. So you can see the email collected, you can see um, phone collected, how many people provided their phone number, three, you know, so maximum three. So not as many people giving their phone number, but still uh, getting people opting into SMS. So that's, um, these are the system fields, right? System events, email, phone, uh, payment completed that I don't have anything in here because I'm not actually um, uh, collecting payments inside of Messenger. But if you're doing that, then that's what um, that would show. And then you can even show here, so opted in for birthday meal. So let me see, um, since I started it, it shows like on the 26th, 14 people did. Um, so this is a great, having these analytics and this graph view is very beneficial for you to see what's working. Um, and then also to, if you need to provide stats to your client to show like, okay, well based off of, you know, in the last week or whatever, um, this is how much revenue that you made from Messenger. So you don't have to be doing all this inside of um, Google Sheets. So let me show you really quick how to um, do the conversion event uh, with the money aspect of it. So let me hit edit here. Do, do, do. So it was this one. So it's an, I know that's an action step right here. Conversion event. So you can see here that you have an action step log conversion event right here. And then you pick what conversion event that you choose. Um, and then you put in the amount. So this is gonna be able to have the custom field at some point, right now it's not, so they're working on that. So that's why I have it as um, just $15. And so that's after 
um, they have said that they are um, redeeming their birthday meal. So that's where you put that in there. Now the other thing that they um, managed as coming out with along the lines of these conversion events is an, uh, not an offline, but a online conversion event through a website. So if you have an e-commerce client um, or just any sort of uh, conversion that you want to have done on a website, you can actually add the ManyChat pixel to the, um, uh, to the website. So for that, um, where did I do that at? I don't remember, I did it on my, oh, I don't have it on this bot, that's why. Um, so it is under, um, oh wait, no, it's under automation pixel. Here we go, automation pixel. So then what you do is you put this clip, this you copy this to your clipboard and you put it on the, um, in the head of the website. And then you have to put in the conversion event with the amount. Um, and actually I have that up here. It actually has, let me show you here, this learn more, has this pixel guide. So just so you know, it kind of is code-ish like. So what you want to do is it gives you here, you know, how to get it all set up. You add this to your, uh, this code to your website. So it says copy and add it to your website in the head, just like any other growth tool. And then you need to set up the events on your website. So you can see here this example um, right here where it's like for a button, if you have it, uh, a conversion event that you want to have happen when someone clicks a button, then you choose this button on click, right? And then, but then if you just want, if somebody's visiting the page, then you can have it this right here in the body section of the website, have this body on load. So when it, when the website loads, like on a thank you page, it will fire this. And then you can change the name of it here of the, so if like in your bot, if you have for a conversion event, um, purchase made, then you can put in here purchase made and put purchase underscore made. You can't use spaces in code. And then you can put in the price if you want here um, of the total. Um, if there is no price, you don't have a price, then you don't have to worry about um, putting in the price. So yeah, it just kind of um, lists everything here, what you can put on there. Uh, you can put three parameters, um, currency, or you can just leave it off and it'll just do USD. Um, so you can put in the name of the event, the weight, which is the price, and then the currency. And then um, you could also create a new one if you want. So then it will end up creating a new one inside of ManyChat. So that's a cool thing with the Facebook, or not Facebook pixel, the ManyChat pixel um, that you can then track inside of your bot purchases that are being made from subscribers to your bot. Um, so that's amazing news. So it doesn't go back onto the Facebook ad to show you purchases that way. You will just have to um, take the extra step. But once Facebook also allows the Facebook, or the other thing is though, if you have the Facebook pixel on your website, it should, if you're doing Facebook ads that are going from ad to bot to website to purchase, then depending on your attribution window in your Facebook ad, seven day, 28 day or whatever, it should show it in your Facebook ads dashboard. But let's say you have this big huge subscriber list and you're sending offers every now and then and it's not from an ad that you're just sending it, you know, maybe let's say a paid or a um, broadcast or whatever. Um, let's say you're getting them back into the bot via SMS that you send them to the website. Well, you don't have a running Facebook ad, so the way to track it would be through this ManyChat pixel. So that is um, a great benefit to um, uh, a great new function for that. So anyways, again, this is all super brand new. Um, I just actually installed the main chat pixel on one of my e-commerce clients websites. Uh, we're seeing how that's working. Um, nothing's showing up yet. So I'm wondering if she installed it right. Cause I don't have access to her Shopify store. Um, but that's where I'm hoping that I will get some more data so I can use that for, uh, during this beta period and then can, um, give you guys some updated stats once it's live. So then that way I can add it to the course. So anyways, hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them below. Thanks.